Hi everyone, my name is Sergey, and in this tutorial I'm gonna give you some brief introduction to Docker for Windows in the context of web automation. Before we start, uh, I would like to give you a couple of tips regarding Docker restrictions and requirements. First of all, you, you should know that Docker is uh, Docker for Windows uh, requires 64-bit uh, Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education Edition. So yeah, unfortunately, it won't be working uh, on Home or any previous Windows version. Apart from that, you need to uh, enable virtualization support in your BIOS settings and do the same in Windows. So let's take a look how to do that. Uh, you need to uh, click Start menu and type Control Panel. Um, then we need to drill into Programs and Features and click Turn Windows Features on Off a link. In this window we need to enable Hyper-V option um, when you do that first time, Windows will prompt you to reboot itself, and that's basically it. You you need to know uh, before uh, actual Docker installation. So when you did that, uh, you you may wonder in which version to pick. There are a couple of options here: stable and beta. Uh, personally, I would recommend you to, to choose better, as it contains some critical fi fixes, uh, especially if you are going to use um, volume mounts feature, uh, as it doesn't really work well in, in a stable version. By the way, let's check which, which version uh, I'm currently using. So. It is 1.12.2 beta 28, so that's the current beta. And yeah, so you need you just need to download corresponding MSI and follow uh, below instructions, which are pretty straightforward. And when you did that, uh, you you will see an icon in your tray. Um, and if you hover it, you will see that Docker is running. So first thing you need to do is to right-click it and visit settings. I don't want to cover all the areas here. I will just uh, quickly describe you um, those parts which are useful for automation purposes. And first of them is called shared drives. So. To, to be able to use mul uh, volumes so mounts, you, you have to share some logical drive with Docker. And uh, to do that, you, you just need to select a corresponding option, click apply button, and Docker will prompt you to type Windows user credentials uh, to, to be able to access your share, right? And to check if everything works fine, you need to copy the following command. Um, you may just wonder in where to execute it. In comparison with Linux, uh, where you could do that um, in terminal, in Windows you, you can do the same uh, either in um, command prompt or in PowerShell. I will use PowerShell, so I'm pasting this command, and so uh, this command uh, basically pulls uh, the Alpine image if it doesn't exist yet, and run it with uh, a mounted uh, directory, which is the users against uh, containers data folder and then it executes uh, ls command uh, which which should list a content of uh, data folder right and before i type enter i will just change uh, 
mounted folder on my windows to read plots um, so I prepared this folder folder for automation purposes so I'm clicking uh, enter and we can see a list of files and subfolders and uh, mapped C grid plots. So that basically means that um, everything works fine and Docker can see a content of C grid plots. Uh, let's check if uh, the picture is the same in build Windows Explorer. So you can see that exactly the same files are listed in uh, in our PowerShell output. Just in case if it doesn't work for you and you you can't see a list of uh, files and subfolders in your map drive, uh, you you may double check your firewall rules. Uh, to do that you need to open start menu, type uh, control panel and uh, then you need to open Windows Firewall. Um, it is disabled for me as I'm using a third party uh, firewall. Just in case if you're using a default one, you, you need to drill into advanced settings, uh, choose uh, inbound rules, then you need to find um, file and printer sharing SMB in options all of them and uh, check if uh, they are all enabled so that's also important and in case if you are using some search party firewall and it still doesn't work for you 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 may enable uh, you may create uh, additional rule um, I, I have created a tip for that you need to create a rule which allows inbound TCP traffic on, on the following port, uh, IP and port. Right, so this, this should fix your issue. And um, if it still doesn't work, uh, you may also want to reset credentials and uh, um, select corresponding drive again. But to be honest, I, I haven't seen such issues in the current beta, so you should be fine with um, already mentioned instructions. Uh, that's basically it uh, related to shared drives, and the other option I want to cover is called Diagnose and Feedback, just in case if you found a bug. Uh, or oh, just something doesn't really work for you. Uh, you you may need to take a look at log file first if, if you are aware of Docker internals, of course. Uh, or you can just upload uh, a diagnostic. Um, when you do that, it will uh, print uh, um, a unique identifier which which should be used during new issues creation on uh, docker for win github repository so this uh, diagnostic uh, will, will, will help developers to, to fix your issue as soon as possible so that's that's it related to configuration as you can see uh, nothing, nothing special here and now we can move on to, to the next part of our uh, docker introduction and it will be related to uh, how we can actually use uh, docker images in, in test automation.